guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing from Fragrant Jewels. And this is for their Into the Woods Part 2 of this mystery collection they have going. And this one is Death by Chocolate, which is a trio. So each one comes with a card that looks like this, but there's like a, something new to decode on the front of it to unlock the game pieces online. And then on the back, you can see the name of the collection and all the rings. So for this one, there's 10 different rings to collect. And they are 18 karat gold plated rings. So in this trio, they have, it's supposed to be a chocolate and graham cracker bubble bar. Those are tons of fun. It's been a while since I've gotten one of those. And this is a toasted marshmallow bath bomb. And then Here's the winner of the show, I think. I love this candle. It looks so cool. They did a really good job with it. So it looks like hot chocolate and it has wax on top to look like marshmallows. And this set, guys, it smells unbelievable. It smells so good. Personally, when I think of like a hot chocolate candle, that doesn't sound like it would smell good to me but oh my gosh, it was amazing. So here's midway burning it. I decided not to put on the warmer initially because I didn't want to mess up the little marshmallows on top, but as they melt, it does all kind of run together. It did cause a little bit of pooling though um, because it was creating a barrier for lack of a better word. So I did go ahead and put it on the warmer after some time, and this is me just pushing it down so it could kind of melt together. And then this has been happening more and more lately. I get the spoon back there and then it releases so suddenly that it like flicks everywhere. <laughs> so the fact that this was chocolate didn't look very appealing. Uh, when I was wiping it off, it didn't look like chocolate. <laughs> uh, so I straightened my wicks and kind of scraped down the side. That way it will all melt and reform and it'll look like nothing happened. And I was on a roll this day because I also ran out of paper towels. So I'm using some Chick-fil-A napkins because I'm classy like that. And I always have so many like fast food restaurant napkins and I always like save them. I don't know why I just do um, instead of using paper towels at home when we eat. I don't know. Does anybody else do that? I try to save and reuse like everything. I don't know. But this was super messy. As you can see, I used every bit of those um, napkins that I had with me. Cut it open and I'm pretty sure I got like the most plain ring from the collection. <laughs> There's not much to this one. It's just a rectangle stone. <laughs> but I did get some other really cool ones. So next up I will insert the marshmallow bath bomb. I love that they did the whole, you know, campfire chocolate theme so it's like a s'more bath set. I thought that was really cool. And again, it smelled on point. I didn't even mention what the candle fragrance notes are. Sorry about that. Uh, the candle had dark chocolate, vanilla cream, green eucalyptus, and maple syrup. So they always like, to me, in my opinion, throw a random scent in there. <laughs> so like when you think of eucalyptus, that doesn't... Anyways, I couldn't pick up on that, thankfully. It just smelled like hot chocolate. It smelled like chocolate and it smelled really, really good. Now, this bath bomb had fragrance notes of vanilla bean, apple slices, wild raspberry, and sweet marshmallow. And again, it's like, why wild raspberry? That has nothing to do with marshmallows. But thankfully, I couldn't pick up on that random scent note. It just smelled like a vanilla marshmallow. It just smelled really good. So even though there's, to me, odd notes thrown in there, Maybe that's why they're the experts, because maybe those scents complement each other and, and make up the overall uh, theme. But yeah, I, I felt like it was a very simple set. It smelled really good. It was just basic. Um, some of them I just are so powerful and so, so many fragrance notes in them that I can't even tell you what I think it smells like, just because it's just so much, if that makes sense. But I say all that to say I really like this set. <laughs> I wish they did more... Um, basic scents like this, like common sense, food scents, 
uh, get away from the floral scents that I don't tend to like. Um, but this one, towards the end, it had a little bit of yellow and orange pigment. And it lasted a long time in the tub, as it always does. When I checked on it, you could see the pigment better there. And it almost looks like beer in the tub. Very foamy white on top. And then it had like light yellow in the water. But I let it go for a few more moments before I was able to take the ring out. And again, a lot of that pigment is in the very, very center of the bath bomb. So you don't see it until the very end. So my next ring, when I opened this, took me a minute. I'm like, is this the exact same ring I just got? But it is a little different. So the basic stone in the center is the same, but this one actually has stones on the side. So it is a different ring. It just looks a little similar. And then the last piece was the bubble bar. So it's supposed to look like chocolate and graham crackers. And I think that's just all it was supposed to smell like as well. Um, did smell like chocolate to me. Smelled very, very good. So how you use these is you just put your little stopper in, lay it over um, the drain, turn the water on so the water's hitting it, and it will create bubbles. This one did take a while to get started. And I did laugh when I uh, had this in there when the brown pigment was coming off because it kind of looks like dirty bath water. But again, it's going with the theme, so I'll let it slide. I appreciate sometimes when they're not so highly pigmented. The uh, Cabin in the Woods bath bomb, I'm going to be posting that uh, probably in two days. Um, that one did stain my skin pretty bad. My feet, at least. It looked like I had moldy feet. But this bubble bar, you can very easily break this up and use it for a couple different baths. It felt way more solid than previous bubble bars. Normally you could kind of like crumble them, get them going a little bit. I could not break this off. It was really hard. I was like trying to dig the ring out with my nails. Um, typically you could kind of like squeeze on it and it'll break chunks off, but no. This thing lasted for a long time. And like I said, it does take a while to get going, but once there's water in the tub and it's been sitting there for a minute, it makes a pretty good amount of bubbles. So I use this one um, for the kids' bath because, of course, they love bubbles. And I try to use the lighter pigment and bath bombs on them since they are sensitive to high fragrances and stuff like that. Plus, they splash all over the bathroom, and I have to clean it up. So as you can see, like half the bar was left. And when I pan back out, you'll see how much bubbles is in the tub. So that's only about half the bar. And here's the water. And my favorite ring. This one was really pretty to me. I, I normally don't like gold or rose gold, but this one had a unique shape to it and it had some darker colored stones on the side. So I'll show them all to you again here so you can see them. Of course, they all appraised for $25, 25 reward points. I still have not won anything. Um, I kind of feel like I'll probably never win something at this point. I've been doing their ring reveals for many, many, many years. I've lost track. Um, more than four years, I guess. I don't even know, but I've saved all my reward points. I've never spent any, and I hope to someday cash it in and go on a tour of their headquarters. I think that would be really, really cool, but we'll see. But that's what I got today. If you want to finish the mystery with me, stay tuned. We're going to wrap it up probably this week, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>